Humminbird side imaging sonar is a revolutionary sonar technology that makes your time on the water more productive. Unlike typical sonar, which looks straight down below the boat, side imaging sonar uses a razor-thin beam that projects up to 240 feet to both sides of the boat for 480 feet of coverage across the bottom. Though they look like photos, these are sonar images and are not dependent on light. Darkness or even mud and silt will not interfere with side imaging. Natural structure, submerged wreckage, boats, automobiles, and even schools of bait fish show up in Humminbird side imaging sonar returns. In addition, you can run your Humminbird in fresh or salt water in depths as shallow as two to three feet. The image generated by Humminbird side imaging may look daunting at first, but by understanding a few simple principles, you'll quickly grasp everything this powerful tool is showing you. Unlike traditional sonar, side imaging moves from top to bottom instead of right to left. The most recent images will be at the top of the screen, with your history moving towards the bottom. Your boat location is top center of the image. Let's focus on the water column. To give you a better idea of what's going on with the Humminbird side imaging screen, we're going to fold the image down the middle. Now, we can clearly identify the water column directly below the boat. This wide, dark colored band is the water between the surface and the bottom. Any activity in this area took place in the water column directly underneath your boat. The gradual changes in width of this band will give you an image of the bottom profile as well. Next, we'll again fold the screen where the water column meets the bottom. At this point, the sonar is identifying structure to the left and right of your boat. Rising and falling terrain, rocks, timber, and man-made structure will all be visible along the bottom in picture-like detail. This simple 3D visualization makes the Humminbird side imaging screen incredibly easy to understand. Now let's take a closer look at what appears on the screen. Flat bottom terrain will appear as a neutral shade of blue. Descending terrain appears as a darker shade of blue. While terrain rising from the bottom will appear in a whiter shade of blue. One of the easiest ways to identify structure with Humminbird side imaging is to look for shadows. Objects standing off the bottom typically appear as a bright spot immediately adjacent to a dark sonar shadow. These shadows are caused by the object reflecting the sonar energy and often tell you more about the height and shape of an object than the primary sonar reflection. Finally, Humminbird side imaging also shows fish. Schools of baitfish will appear as a cloud or cluster of small white dots. Larger individual fish show up as small white lines or streaks on the screen. There are many variables that determine how well fish show up on side imaging. Some of these variables are range, depth of water, and how far away the fish are from the boat. Also, fish may be behind structure, and this will hide the fish from the sonar. One tip to increase the visibility of fish on the screen is to set the sharpness located under the SI enhancement setting to high. This feature distinguishes fish from the surrounding black background. Each angler should determine which setting works best for them.